Hello everyone. Today we will discuss primitive reflexes. Now, the primitive reflexes are automatic movements that are directed by spinal cord and brain stem without any interference or without any knowledge of higher cerebral cortex. Now, as the name suggests, primitive reflexes are present in a fetus inside a mother's womb and even after birth during early months of their life, that is, up to the first year of their life. Now, why are these primitive reflexes present? Why this brain stem and spinal cord will be directing the movements and why not the higher center? It's because that during early infancy and uh, during the period of time in which a baby is inside mother's womb, the higher center is not completely developed, it is not completely mature. So up till then, the primitive reflexes will help a child to protect them, to survive and to develop. So. Initially, these primitive reflexes are very helpful for survival, protection and development of the child. But later on, as the higher centers that is cerebral cortex develop, these primitive reflexes must be suppressed. If these reflexes are not suppressed, then it will create hindrance in the development of the child and it will also not allow neurological organizations to develop in the brain. So, this primitive reflexes needs to be suppressed in past one year of life. If this primitive reflexes are not suppressed or integrated past one year of life, then it will interfere with social, academic and motor learning of the child. Now, kids who are suffering from ADHD, learning disabilities, autism spectrum and various neurological developmental disorders are known to have retention of this primitive reflexes and this retention of primitive reflexes is responsible for their symptoms and their level of dysfunctions. Now, why does interfere with the normal child development? because all these primitive reflexes are associated with one or more sensory processing systems. Sensory processing systems like tactile, smell, vision, taste, vestibular system, auditory system and proprioceptive system. These are the sensory processing systems with which these primitive reflexes are associated. So if these primitive reflexes are not integrated well on time, then it will cause issues with the functioning of one or more sensory systems, which in turn will lead to sensory processing disorders. And the kids who are at risk of having retained primitive reflexes are those who are born prematurely, born on via C-section, exposed to any trauma or toxicity or anesthetics and it is even seen in some kids uh, who have gone through a lack of tummy time during early infancy, less exposure to creeping and crawling, early introduction to walkers, suffering from frequent falls or head injuries. So these kids are more at risk of having sensory processing issues because of retained primitive reflexes. So, in my next upcoming videos, I will be explaining individual primitive reflex, how to assess if that reflex is present, partially integrated or fully integrated, and what are the treatment strategies that can be used or what are the exercises that can be given for integration or suppression of this primitive reflexes if they are not integrated well on time. Now I would like to explain one more thing regarding how these exercises will work in helping kids to suppress this primitive reflexes. Now suppose these are my hands but suppose these are neurons. This is exon and this is dendron. This is another exon and another dendron or dendrites. Now whenever there are neural connections between uh, these neurons, the dendrites will connect with each other. Now because of primitive reflexes, there are automatic movements as I explained, automatic movements occurring in the child. Because of that automatic movements, a neural connection is developed between two neurons via dendrites. When we want to suppress any one primitive reflex, we want to break this neural connection, the older neural connection which is there because of primitive reflex and build newer 
neural connections via connection between new dendrites so to break this neural connection we need to do other movements which are usually opposite to one which are occurring in primitive reflex and build new connection so to unlearn the old thing and to learn the new thing which will take some time so each exercises need to be performed for more than four to six weeks to see visible results in kids so uh, the exercises will be there in the next videos the basic thing is to break older connection and build up newer connection which will occur over a period of time that is four to six weeks now in the upcoming videos, do watch them uh, to come across uh, or to learn the treatment strategies, how to deal with the primitive reflexes. Thank you.